you won't believe what happens during this fantastic process. Can you believe the idea of Kinder Egg production was a flop with Ferrero employees when it was first put forward by the owner? Why? Watch this video until the end to discover the reason for this initial rejection while learning about the history of Kinder Eggs and the complete manufacturing process. From the harvesting of cocoa, its fermentation, roasting and grinding, to the molding of chocolate shells holding the most anticipated Kinder Surprise, you will be surprised to learn about the efforts that go into producing this 2.5 inch or 6 centimeter milky treat. But before we move on, let's first travel back where Kinder Chocolate Egg's journey began. The amazing story began in the small Italian town of Alba in 1946. Here, a visionary confectioner named Pierto Ferrero founded a confectionery company that would eventually become synonymous with innovation and delectable treats. His son, Michel Ferrero, inherited Pierto Ferrero's passion for creating delightful confections. In the late 1960s, under Michel's guidance, the Ferrero company launched a groundbreaking product that would revolutionize the confectionery industry, the Kinder Surprise. Michel conceives the idea to create a chocolate product that would appeal to children in 1968. He wanted to create a chocolate that would be delicious, nutritious, and fun for children to eat. In 1974, Ferrero introduced Kinder Surprise, a milk chocolate egg with a small toy inside with the slogan, Treat, Discover, Play as a replication of an ancient Italian Easter tradition, where children would receive a surprise inside a chocolate egg from their elders. Ferrero wanted the product to have a higher milk content, making it a key part of its promotion. He believed that this idea would undoubtedly gain popularity with mothers eager to give their children some extra milk. William Salise was appointed as co-creator to realize the concept along with Michel. Kinder Surprise became an instant hit with adults and children and quickly became one of the most popular chocolate products in the world. Around 30 billion Kinder Eggs have been sold globally since its debut in 1974. The success of Kinder Chocolate can be attributed to several factors. First, the products are made with high quality ingredients and carefully crafted to be delicious and nutritious. Second, the products are marketed in a way that appeal to children. The packaging is bright and colorful and the toys included in Kinder Surprise eggs are often educational or imaginative. Also, Kinder Chocolate is a relatively affordable treat, which makes it accessible to a wide range of consumers. According to an estimation, 1.2 billion toys, Kinder Surprise toys, are produced annually, equal to 40 eggs per second, or about 100 tons daily. Ooh. Due to publicly unavailable information, it's difficult to estimate how much money Kinder Eggs generate for the Ferrero Group yearly. The Ferrero Group is a privately held company and avoids disclosing its financial results or sales figures for individual products. However, it is safe to say that it contributes a large profit share to the company's revenue, with soaring sales in more than 125 countries worldwide. But what goes into making these delicious and iconic candies? The 110 calorie product includes a milk chocolate egg containing a small toy in a plastic capsule. The ingredients include fine milk chocolate, 47%, with sugar, whole milk powder, cocoa butter, cocoa mass, emulsifier, lecithins, vanilla, skimmed milk powder, sugar, vegetable fats, palm and shea, concentrated butter. The egg's milk content is 32% solids to 15% cocoa solids, creating a child-friendly texture and taste. Kinder Surprise toys are designed and manufactured with safety and quality, with each Kinder Surprise toy certified to show that it meets the requirements of the European toy safety regulations. Let's take a look behind the scenes at the manufacturing process of Kinder Chocolate Eggs. We will follow the eggs from when they are conceived to when they are packaged and ready to be shipped to stores. Step 1. Sourcing the cocoa. The unique taste of Kinder Chocolate Eggs is undoubtedly one of the most premium factors in the confectionery. Therefore, the company has developed unique expertise in combining and processing different cocoa beans to create its recipe's unique aroma and taste. Ferrero sources cocoa mainly from West Africa and South Africa, where the hot and humid climate is ideal for its cultivation. The company claims to buy raw and whole cocoa beans primarily from the highest quality of the main harvest. Step 2. Fermenting, drying, and grinding of cocoa beans. Once removed from the ripe fruit, the cocoa beans are left to ferment for a week. 
usually under banana leaves. This allows the natural flavors and aromas to develop. After being dried for five days, these fermented beans are shipped to kinder factories in more than 170 countries across the globe. Before further drying, they go through physical, chemical, organoleptic, and microbiological checks. These are then further dried and ground in a mill that separates the edible ground nibs from the skin. Step three, roasting the cocoa beans. The ground nibs are then roasted to improve their aroma and color. The company claims to roast most of its beans itself for constant monitoring of their fragrance, quality, and freshness. Step four, cocoa powder. The roasted nibs are further ground to obtain a pressed cocoa mass to separate the cocoa butter from the cocoa cake. The cocoa cake is then broken to get the cocoa powder to be used as the coating for the Kinder eggs. Step five, mixing the ingredients. The milk chocolate used in Kinder eggs is made from a blend of carefully selected cocoa beans, milk powder, and sugar. The inside of the egg is made from a mixture of whole milk powder, sugar, vegetable fats, and emulsifiers. These ingredients are weighed and mixed together carefully. The precise combination of ingredients is a closely guarded secret, ensuring that signature Kinder taste. The mixture is then heated and stirred till it reaches a smooth, creamy consistency. Step six, forming the chocolate shells. The next step is to form the chocolate shells. This is done by pouring the liquid chocolate mixture into molds resembling two halves of an egg. The molds gently vibrate to remove air bubbles, producing flawless chocolate shells. Next, they are moved to a cooling tunnel where the temperature is controlled to achieve the perfect texture. This is where the surprise element comes into play. While the chocolate shells cool, another part of the factory is abuzz with activity. Here, the surprise element that makes Kinder chocolate eggs so special is being prepared. The toy. Workers assemble the small toys delicately, ensuring perfect details. From tiny figurines to miniature puzzles, these toys bring excitement and joy to each Kinder chocolate egg. Step seven, assembling the chocolate shells. Now that the chocolate shells have cooled and the toys are ready, it's time for them to meet. The two halves of the chocolate egg are gently brought together, encasing the surprise inside. The plastic capsules that contain the toys are then inserted into the chocolate shells. Step eight, packaging. The final step is to package the eggs. The eggs are first wrapped in individual pieces of foil. Safety is of utmost importance, so the packaging is designed to ensure that each egg is tamper-proof and secure. The eggs are then placed in a specialty design tray decorated with the familiar Kinder logo. The trays are sealed and transported to the packaging area, where they are placed into colorful boxes, ready to be shipped to eager children and chocolate lovers worldwide. Now you must be wondering, why such a tempting idea was initially rejected. The employees thought that since eggs were only associated with Easter, no one would buy them before and after the festival. I guess they were more than happy to be proven wrong. So they continued to bring joy to the world with their efforts and expertise. What's your favorite Kinder present? Tell us in the comments section. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.